Hey guys, how you doing? I just want to do a little unboxing here. A good friend of mine, Mike, got me this for uh, Christmas. He was my secret Santa. And I just want to do an unboxing. Um, this is actually uh, an RC car work, st uh, work stand. It's by Hobby Park. I believe he got this off Amazon. Um, there's a couple of different features here and we'll get into it. But I mean, it's made out of aluminum. You can uh, uh, rotation 360 degrees built-in holes for rebuilding shocks um let's see there's non-slip pads on it and it's uh even has a magnetic strip so uh some of your parts won't roll away so let's just do a quick unboxing here is actually the part number itself hopefully you can see that well, let's dig into it so this is how it comes so here's gonna be your sticky pads here Oh, it looks like your magnetic strip. Some aluminum bits and fasteners. And you got the trays itself. Let's move this box out of the way so we can take a closer look here. Already you can feel quite dirt. See how durable it is. I do have a plastic one back here. This is by uh, Deer Tracks. See that there? This thing is really floppy and flimsy. Uh, when you put anything heavy on it, just kind of meh. It's it's decent for a lighter car, I guess. But this one, I have a feeling, is going to be really good for uh, light and heavy vehicles. So right here, it's got the Hobby Park logo. And you actually have a ruler here, so you can take a look at uh, and measure things. That is going to probably be your base. And then you have the top here. Of course, then you have all your holes for uh, your shocks. And let's get into some of the parts we have here. Aluminum base with screw. Actually, I guess it won't be the base. It will be the attachment post ish and we have some hardware here nice and then we have uh, some allen wrenches that came with it as well but I'll probably be using my own all right so let's take a look at this and see how this actually goes on so that's your adjustability right there. Um, bah, bah, bah. Let's see. I'm gonna say those gonna be on there. Give me one second while I get my hardware here. Uh, yep. And what is this one? Is it the same? Nope. Uh, one more minute here. Do, 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 do. All right. So we're going to be looking at a two millimeter driver and a 2.5 millimeter driver to do this. All right, so this is pretty cool. Let's see, make sure we're all in view here. So the grub screws here are actually going to go in here. So this way it will stay where you want it. So let's just put a couple of grub screws in. I think it comes with an extra one. So that's pretty awesome. And this is the two millimeter. Do that. I'll turn it around here. Do another one. All right, that's pretty awesome. So again, if you if that's the height you wanted at, you just tighten that down. It doesn't move anymore. Epic. All right. So uh, from the looks of it, we're going to be mounting this underneath. So we're going to take the bottom plate here. Oh, we got two extra grub screws. Badass. All right, put those to the side. So here's the, the base here. And so this is going to be like so. And then we'll grab our 2.5 millimeter here. Make it easier. Stuff it through the old hole. And probably not going to be able to see. I'm left-handed here, so it always makes the camera 
kind of goofy. So let me switch my hands here so you can see me screw things. Again, already compared to the deer tracks, this feels way beefier. And the fact that you can actually lock um, the height you want and so uh, it won't rotate is really, really cool. Actually, I don't think I'm lined up there. Not at all. Let's try that again. Now, usually when you're putting metal in metal, you use Loctite. But since this isn't going to be going about 60, 60 miles an hour in the backyard, I don't think we need to. Perfect. Look at that. All right. And then for the top, it's going to be this way. See that all right? So it's going to line right up there. So we're going to take our two millimeter, nope, 2.5 guy here. Drop that in here, put that in the top, just like so. Now this one you can tighten right up. The base isn't going to move anywhere. Look at that. That is sweet. So again, if you want to uh, move your vehicle around, just loosen these guys up here. Look at that. So not only is it a height adjustment, but it actually locks it where you want it to. That is really, really nice. Appreciate this, Mike. That's awesome. All right, so just gonna have a sippy here. Ah, a little beverage on a Sunday. Okay, so um, these are actually gonna go up here. So let's quickly pop these out. Looks like they have been laser cut. So that's awesome. Do one more. It's just got a nice feel when they pop out. So what we're gonna wanna do is line up there and there. So let's give it a try. You think I can do this on camera? All right, so do this here. Line that up. I'm gonna move my drink. I don't wanna spill that. All right, so let's see how I can do this. Actually, I think that lined up pretty nice. A little up there. Beautiful. All right, let's do the other side. That's so nice that doesn't move. Can't believe that. Just shows the difference between cheap and quality. Let's try this again. And guys, you got to remember, I'm blind in one eye, can't see out of the other, so this does make it difficult for me. Oh, well, look at that. Amazing. Now, I believe the magnetic strip is going to go right here. There's no instructions, but I think that's where I would put it. Let's uh, see if I can get this off here. And then we're just gonna mount it right there. So let's see, get that out of the way. Get those guys out of the way. Put that right in the center. Look at that. So let's see, uh, if we take some hardware here, bit of hardware now some of that is not all metal so let's see what happens look at that nice noise all right let's get rid of that and just in case you're wondering if you want to rebuild some shocks uh, those are too big let's see if I have anything that's Nope, that's not it. Well, what you would do, I'd find a shock. Wow. This is shocking. I can't find a shock. But this is way too large uh, for this particular one. But this is from an Arma. And what you would do is you, you take everything off, you drop it in there, 
you pull that cap off and you fill it full of oil and then this way it will sit there and you let all the bubbles go to the top and you uh, set it the way you want plunge it down make sure there's no more bubbles left and you put the cap back on and bingo there you go this way you can put it on different oils it's all right the oil that's going to be going in here is shock oil and this is do 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 40. and that's how i do that now unfortunately i won't be able to use that for this but these are really really large shocks all right so that being said there is kind of the unboxing and put together of this little guy i am really really pleased with it again mikey did an awesome job picking this out um not only okay let's let's bring back this piece of crap thing here so this one always just it, it falls off the top's not bad but it's just all over there's no magnet on here these are actually rubber but they don't stick on anything and yeah it's look how, look how flimsy that is look how flimsy this is exactly all right so that is uh now actually um I will show you the next car I'll be working on. So let's move some of this crap out of the way. You're right there. Okay. Let's see if I can get this into the shot. So this is, let's move the camera up. This is an HSP four wheel drive. It is the uh, one, one tenth scale. And I believe it has a 0.18 uh, nitro engine in it. I've done a couple of things to it. So it's got the black actual header. It's got the gold tune pipe. Color means nothing, but it is actually a tune pipe. Just move my drink over. I'm going to have one more sip. Mm, quality. And then it has some... Uh, oh, yeah. It doesn't turn because I don't have the, the things unlocked. Beautiful. That's, that's handy. Um, so yeah, so it does have the short course wheels on it by Proline, and these are the Gladiators. Uh, what else do we got? We got our little battery thing here. This takes four AA batteries, so this will let us know uh, uh, whether the battery's low, good, blah, blah, blah. We're just running uh, a stock servo. This is off uh, a Kyosho. I think this is off my Inferno, not my Inferno. Uh, monster truck, uh, ba, ba, ba. can't think of the name right now. But it is off that. It'll come to me probably as soon as the film's done. And yeah, so the, the get back to the thing here. Uh, again, this is about the stand, not about this vehicle. But what I'm going to be doing on this vehicle is um, I put, put the diffs in wrong. So now when you start it up, it goes backwards. Anyway, uh, nonetheless, take a look how nice that sits. That's really nice. Uh, again... Uh, you loosen those grub screws up. You can turn it around. I really like the feature that you you can't turn around. Look how solid that is. Like that's not falling off. Uh, this thing, crap. This thing, awesome. The fact that it's got the magnet on it. You turn it around this way, and uh, especially for the nitro too, uh, has measurement right on here. So if you're uh, doing fuel line or anything like that, you can cut. Make sure everything's uh, even. Or when you're doing your shocks, if you need to use uh, fuel line for that as a dampener yeah absolutely thanks mike i really appreciate this this will get a lot of use and uh yeah any questions leave a, a question down in the bottom i will try to get back to you don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you like uh what you're seeing here if you don't like don't subscribe because there's gonna be more of this going on and take a look at some of my other videos and uh, i will see you in the next one talk to you later bye